All right. You know what we're going to do now? We're going to do something special. We're going to check in with Matthew Capucci. Uh, yeah, see, oh, our, yeah. uh, my fellow weather yeah, guy. He's in Chile. Is it, what, is it morning there? He... <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Hey, good morning. A bit tough to hear, but we're kind of going to Chile right now. Outside, you can see the mountains are absolutely gorgeous. The landscape is incredible. The last night saw the Geminid meteor shower in the Atacama Desert, which was absolutely sublime. Been about 40, 50 meteors every single hour under those clear, dark skies. There you see my friend and I underneath the Milky Way with galaxies just visible completely up above. It was crazy. And it's weird to think that in DC, you can see about 150, 200 stars per night under the Atacama Desert, about 5,000. So there you see that streak overhead. Each meteor, only about the size of a grain of puffed rice as it moves overhead at 37 miles per second. But those colors you get from burning sodium, magnesium, and iron really was something unbelievable that we got to see. No light pollution whatsoever, just really remarkable. So Matt, how many meteors would you say? Because I, certainly the biggest difference between down there where you are and around here in the DC area is we have a lot of light pollution around here that keeps the skies from being nearly that brilliant. How was the meteor shower there compared to anything we would see around here in DC? It was night and day, almost literally. You know, in DC, we see about like 40, 50 stars per night, if that. There you see about 100 times more. And the craziest part is you see those pictures that look like postcards with the Milky Way just laid overhead. Here you can see the exact same thing, and it looked exactly as it did in some of those pictures. I, I couldn't believe that that's what it actually looks like. We could see galaxies. We saw, I'd say, about 60 to perhaps 70 meteors total. There you see the expansive landscape that we were at. It's neat because along the Bolivian border with Chile, you have something called the Altiplano, so the high plains are about 8,000 feet above the ground. It's incredible, right? Temperatures drop very rapidly overnight. But the neat thing is, because of that, you have no light pollution whatsoever. And there you see, there's a, a glacier that we flew over yesterday en route to where we are now in Catagonia. It is something uh, just remarkable. Even looking out the window right now, you appreciate this. We get lenticular clouds, a weird way to disc shape things over the mountains. This landscape, unlike anything I've seen before, and just Simply superb. Yeah, I would actually want to ask you, Matthew, because I know you've seen and traveled in so many um, of these type of sites. Where does this rank, uh, this meteor shower, in comparison to the other things you've experienced? This is pretty high up there, especially just because of the terrain. You know, I've, I've seen meteors before, I've seen fireballs before, but being able to see them in a setting like this is incredible. And I, I gotta say, I gotta give some credit to the folks on the tour because everybody here, I mean, we're doing live TV from a van as we move down the road. Folks here are superbly patient. But uh, yeah, it, it's just uh, amazing. And to be able to fly commercial, look out the window and see a glacier or be there in the Atacama Desert, the place on Earth that gets less than two millimeters of rain every year is just really remarkable. And it, it's one of those things you appreciate just how much is out there. The things you grow up reading about in the textbooks, witness in person is very humbling. All right, Matthew, uh, with five seconds. Give me one of those fancy words that you always <laughs> use. Any one of them to describe where you are. You, it could be anything. Give me one of those fancy words you use. Tropic of Capricorn. We are way south. So yesterday uh, we were near Tropic Capricorn, which is basically like the Tropic of Cancer, but south. So we're in the tropics, but very dry. There's nice. my buzzword of the day. Okay. <laughs> Tropic Capricorn. Go. Got it. Right. Spot on. Matt, you needed yeah. that work next week. So safe <laughs> travels, buddy. We'll see you back here home side in a bit. <laughs> very good. Oh, so good to check in and share that. He's that a world really weather cool. traveler, Matt Capucci yeah. is. He has some amazing adventures, that's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, time now is.